Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another food review, coach. Now today we got Jazzy Jeff in the building. For all the ones who don't know, he's well. Introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, I was man. two. I was two channels ago. Two channels ago? Yes. Nah, you've been on a couple of these because people have been commenting on that Man, Young Thug and Nicki Minaj. Yeah, that was what the last channel, or was that this one? That was this one. Oh. Yeah. So Jazzy Jeff has been a little scarce on the channel, but a couple of y'all might, might, or may have seen him. Um, but he's the Chick Fil A employee. Um, if you couldn't tell from the title, today we are doing Chick Fil A. It's tough. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> We doing Chick Fil A versus Popeyes, Coach. Thumbnail. You hold these since you're the Chick Fil A employee. No, I'm not a Chick Fil A ambassador. We need a we need we need a thumbnail, bro. No, we need Just a thumbnail. Up. And then you make a. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, bro. But we actually just did the review to these um to the Popeyes nuggets yesterday i'll probably drop that today i may drop this video later today as well or the day after the popeyes one but for the popeyes you gave it what seven out of ten Thank you. yeah you gave it a seven out of ten i gave it like a i think a seven or maybe a 7.5 but with the sauce where we at because what must we eat the sauce my boy that I don't know if y'all had this before, but the sweet heat from Popeyes, that's that mess is hitting. But today it looks like we actually got eight pieces in here. Um the other day they actually put it in a cup instead of in this box container. But in that cup it was at least like 15 nuggets and I got an eight piece. Obviously, y'all seen the Chick-fil-A nut. These things baby compared to the daggone Popeyes. Oh god, hold on. But I mean, really, we ain't gotta do too much talking. I'm gonna show y'all this quick. All right. Is this one nugget or we compare these, my nigga? This is that's no comparison. All right. You know what I'm saying? That must too doggone bright. Are you daffy? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bird. So we got the Popeyes here, Chick Fil A here. Just about to taste test them and see what they're talking about. Give y'all some honest thoughts on it, honest opinions. And these Popeyes ones officially drop on the the 27th, so in like four days. Um, but a Popeyes over here by us already got them, so it is what it is. But which one you want to try first? I guess you got. I mean, you've eaten Can't both. Okay, we'll do we'll do the Popeyes. Do the Popeyes first. Yeah, take down. We got the maxed out. Is with no sauce. I told y'all that sweet heat is gonna change the game for Popeyes, but with no sauce. No sauce, and we got these about thirty minutes ago. Yeah, thirty minutes. But it actually feels like the 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 uh, crust on the Popeyes is still like kind of hard or crunchy to an extent. Let's see what it's talking about though. A little ASMR. No. These taste like they're tenders, just in nugget form. Keep it a buck, which I mean they probably are just the actual tenders, just literally cut down into some nuggets. And in the video that we did to the Popeyes originally, <clears throat> he said he'll give it a seven out of ten. I don't know. I think well. You said Chick Fil A was six out of ten, there, right? I said Detroit about a seven. Chick Fil A was about a high six. Man, he said as far uh, as the actual nugget, but the flavor I would prefer Chick Fil A's over Popeyes. Yeah, so he gave Popeyes a, a slightly higher rating, but said he would still go with the Chick Fil A if he had to choose between both. We gonna find out if that's true today. We should have got some Polynesian sauce to go with that, or Chick Fil A sauce. Time for the now. These are definitely a lot smaller. Say that for sure. They're going to make sure they give you eight nuggets. Don't y'all bread nuggets back there too? Mm -hmm. What's the process? Are, are those harder breading than 
You just dunk them in there, put them in the flour, and you just take a sifter, shake them, and then dump them in the grease for them. He said Chick-fil-A got employees for everything. They got, they got the people that literally just bread chicken all day. They don't even dump the chicken. They just bread it, put it on pans. The other people come through and dump it in the fryers and take it out. Then there's somebody who makes the sandwich. Like It was three of us just on like making the meat. <laughs> then on the other side, they do all the salads. And then on the other side is where they put all the orders together. It's tough. Chicken. And there's like three people per job. Orders, it's like four or five. And I told them it's probably because Chick-fil-A, I mean, they make enough money and they have it to where their employees not going to be stressed out coming into work. You feel me? Like, I'm doing this specific job. I ain't got to worry about, all right, I got to bread it. Then I got to uh, drop it, make sure it's, it's cooked right. Then I got to take it out, make the sandwich, then wrap the sandwich, then put it in the bag, give it to the... Like, they make sure they got every little, everything covered. That's why when you got the maxed out line, he said you're out of there in, what, about five, ten minutes? Literally. <laughs> They keep that thing going. But what do you think so far right now? Low key, I'm kind of liking Chick-fil-A's flavor a little bit more right, right now. Just I find it tastes like just the regular chicken. But, like I said, the Chick-fil-A flavor I would take. But, of course, the crispiness of the nugget. Because, of course, you see the breading. If you, hold them, if you hold them both up. Bring them in, too. You see how this... It's gonna focus. Oh, it's right there. It's like it's kind of a crust on the edges, but it's still like that flat yeah, right there. That's true. Though. And then this, you got like the big bulky. You see all the craggly in there. Exactly. So I do see that. So with the with the Popeyes, you're gonna get more of that crisp, like the traditional like Popeyes popcorn chicken, basically. That's yeah. what I, that's what I'm thinking of more than I see these. Not really nuggets like popcorn chicken. I mean, you see Popeyes? Yeah. Okay, so with the Popeyes, you're seeing there's a popcorn, which I could see that because it is, like, with that crust, you get way more of a, like, crunch to it. You feel me? But with Chick-fil-A, just off of the one I just tasted, the flavor on there, I do like it. Hey, we get that spicy. Yeah, I still, bro. <clears throat> I've never tried Chick Fil A spicy chicken sandwich or spicy nuggets. Imagine. So I definitely need to try those out. I wanted to put them up against Popeyes, but Popeyes don't have spicy nuggets, so it's like it's kind of well, it's not pointless, but I mean it's not a fair comparison if you don't have spicy from from Popeyes. But we always could get a spicy sauce, dip it in there. It's not really the same, but. Mm -hmm. So off of this review, still got two more each. No. Off of this review, which one you taking? If I had a big bucket of either one, I'd probably just take a big bucket of Chick Fil A nuggets. <laughs> if we on, but, hold but, on. If it's a late night, ain't even gotta be a late night. It's just a night you like. All right, I'm trying to decide what I'm about to eat. Mm. And you gotta decide between Chick Fil A. You like, yeah, I want me some some of my nuggets from somewhere. And you decide between Popeyes and Chick Fil A. Mm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's go get about it. I said I might have to go. Hmm? First, what was the the price point? That's what I said. So um, the Popeyes were four fifty, like four fifty five. I think four fifty. I think those are four seventy nine. Thing. Oh no, that was for, for a get, Oh, okay, okay. You said four seventy nine. Value going price. So, yeah, so about the same, like a twenty thirty cent difference. Um, only thing is, if you're trying to decide to get these for like a, like actual meal, you're probably going to do it with fries and a drink. So then that might change your thoughts too, as far as like, okay. Do I want the Popeye's fries? Do I want the Chick Fil A waffle fries? But of course, these the nuggets are the same nuggets that you get on the the chicken minis in the breakfast. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. So with that biscuit or like that little. Oh yeah, now those those hit though. Those hit. I ain't gonna lie like that. I ain't had those in a minute, but those those, those chicken minis are that's tough. I'm gonna take one more bite. See how that's that's still a crunch, and we literally had them thirty minutes and put them in the microwave. You know. Like I said, better quality nugget. 
with better flavor. <clears throat> I'll take flavor over the the slight more crunch. Mm, I can see that. But if you if you like crunch or if you want the crunch, obviously you need to go to Popeyes. If it don't matter if you got crunch or not, you just want a better flavor. I would say the Chick Fil A definitely has a, a slight, uh, a little bit more than slightly better flavor. But the only thing is, when you introduce that sweet heat, Popeyes might not be able to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't think they could be beat. I need one that ain't been. This sweet heat is real live. Sweet and sour mixed with Polynesian and a How little. How much sauce do you have on one nugget? <laughs> Enough. This man <laughs> coats though. You supposed to get you're supposed to get a light dabble. You're That's supposed to. I've been off, huh? Imagine. <laughs> this man, on. Imagine this man has that one flu <laughs> flu syndrome. That is an over sauce nugget right there. That is not over sauce. You need way more sauce than that. That man got on the top half of the nugget. <laughs> yes. Heck no. Let me go ahead and cross contaminate Chick fil A in the Popeye sauce. This sweet heat is just like, this is a different. And it's not even too hot where it's like going to just burn your daggone mouth off type thing. Like, it's lit. Like, it's. You're going to feel it. It's like the sauce on sesame chicken. Kind of. Mm. Me of. But there's ain't. Literally, but a little more spice. Yeah, because sesame is like low key spicy sometimes. Depends. Or is it? Is it the general? T nah, general tiles is normally just just sweet. But it's been one of those at the Chinese place that have that that sweet sauce that got a little bit of heat to it. I can't even think of it, but you know, try to take the label sweet. Heat. And what? Are, oh, hold on. So our our ranking system right now. Are you still giving Popeyes a seven out of ten, mm. and Chick Fil A the six out of ten? Low key, I'm gonna get a Chick Fil A at least. I'll get a Chick Fil A at seven and Popeyes at eight. As an overall quality nugget, but the flavor, I'll give Popeyes like close to a seven. Chick Fil A get them about like an eight, eight and a half. Just because the flavor? Popeyes nugget just tastes like the regular <clears throat> Popeyes chicken. Hold on, so flavor wise, you're gonna give Chick Fil A an eight, eight, eight and a half. Popeyes, a Popeyes seven. like a seven, low seven. And does the does the sweet heat bring that up? No, or it's like I ah, still the same. So same. Make it taste better, but don't just bump it up on the rank system. <laughs> of the pure nugget. For me, low key, I'ma say like on a random night, I would probably I probably still would go to Popeye's. You get more of a nugget. Yeah, more, you get more, definitely. Like yeah, more food. More like meat in it. You got the crunch to it, which I'm not I don't really care about the the crunch, but Chick fil A, that flavor though. That flavor is hitting. Stay in your mouth for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, literally. That flavor is hitting, coach. I cannot lie. So, I'm, I mean, personally, I'm going to have to say that's the thing, though. It's like Chick fil A wins with the flavor, but Popeyes wins with the amount that they give you. And it's like, it's not like the flavor is that much worse. I ain't going to say it's a tie, but it's hard for me to decide, bro. So, I guess y'all going to have to be the judge of it. I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Whenever these, can you get a meal with this? Yeah, they got the the, the the combo that comes with the fries and the the drink. For what? Like, it's like, like eight dollars, I think. It's like eight and some change. I'm like, yeah. I was four dollars for the daggone nuggets themselves. Four fifty for the nuggets themselves. And a half a cup of ice. <laughs> and then you give it, you adding fries and a drink for three, four extra dollars. Yes, sir. I don't know how much is Chick Fil A's combo. I think like seven eighty. So still similar prices even in that regard, I guess. So we might have to put these. Well, I don't even know if it's a point in putting these up against like McDonald's or nothing. It's there. There's like a ground chicken nugget. Mm, it's yeah. like chicken chunks. I don't know. Maybe we need to find another plate. Like, does Zaxby do nuggets? If they if they do nuggets, that might be one. I think added. they might just do tenders. That would like if if Zaxby has them, we might have to go and do a three way comparison. But for this one, it's a close one for me. But flavor wise, I'm going with Chick fil A. Bang for the buck. As far as how much chicken you're going to get, I'm going to go with Popeyes. So that still kind of splits it. I know that's not a, a just a, a definite answer, but. And would you say the same thing? Or? Yeah. Okay. So, hey, man, that was our review on it. You feel me? We got a Chick fil A employee going against his company, um, you know, putting it all on the line. 
man. Possibly getting fired it. after this video, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Hey. It is what it I'm is, coach. You're a man of the people, so you're going to risk your livelihood. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. y'all. So, since he's risking his career, I need y'all to run these views up, coach. Smack that like button. You feel me? Subscribe if you haven't already. If y'all got any suggestions for future food reviews, let your boy know in the comments. Um, I don't really got too much else to say, though, bro. Y'all got or all we can make these. See if we can make a Popeye's or a Chick-fil-A style nugget. Do y'all want a video like that? He is the chef now. I mean, I could cook a little bit too, but he, you know what I'm saying, this man is certified low key. You feel me? Maybe we can make a McDonald's nugget. A McDonald's mm -hmm. versus a homemade McDonald's versus homemade Popeye's versus homemade Chick-fil-A. That might be tough. Or we just do separate videos. I don't know. Y'all get down there. Y'all hear some of these ideas. So y'all let us know whatever y'all thinking about. Like I said, he's drop on the 27th, so... Um, if y'all, if they're not at your Popeye's right now and y'all going to go check them out, definitely come back and drop a comment and let Is us know what y'all think. advertising for Popeye's? I'm just saying that they go, come out on the 27th, but I want them, if they going to try them, to go try them and then come back and drop a comment and let us know what y'all think as far as versus Chick-fil-A, you feel me? Because people was already saying the Popeye's chicken sandwich is better than any other chicken sandwich. Like Chick -fil And Chick-fil-A used to be at the bag on top, but now it's a lot of people that flip the Popeye's. The question is, are you on Popeye's side for the chicken sandwich? Mm, for a regular, yeah. But for a spicy, I'll take a Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Okay. Okay. Popeye's, I didn't, I didn't got y'all chicken sandwich too many times, and it's been time foolery. The first time we we had got it, it was hidden. Every time after, then it's like, y'all give me these dried out, malfunction pieces, like these malnourished pieces of chicken. I, don't, I, I, I mean, if I get a regular one, it's good with the pickles and all that, but... I don't know, man. Maybe that's just the, maybe that's just the Popeyes I'm going to. I don't know. But either way, now we do have pretty much all of our Popeyes are maxed out ghetto Popeyes. Exactly. Literally. Like you never get. The, <laughs> it's always some top foolery when you go to Popeyes, and if you go too late, they ain't got nothing left. You go at nine thirty to close at ten. We got no chicken, exactly. no biscuits. All we got is green beans and mashed potatoes. What? Or the dry, they'll be all we got is dark meat. Or <laughs> dried out thighs that they made two exactly. hours ago. Like, if you get on, a breast, man. you're done. That's chalk. <laughs> Literally. It's chalk. If you get a breast late at night, you cannot eat it. Literally. Do not go to Popeye's late. You will be highly disappointed. That's all I'm going to say. But hey, bruh. That's our thoughts on it. We almost at, what, 18 minutes for this? That's tough. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. We on the road to 20K subscribers, 18. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Jazzy Jeff makes beats, too. Any of y'all rappers just happen to be watching a Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A food review? Exactly. Go check them out on IG. 10 well, racks, you get anything. 10 racks for what, a beat? Yeah. Gotta go. <laughs> hey, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed it, though. 20k subscribers get down there in the comments let us know what y'all talking about let us know what y'all think about this ain't got too much else to say so we'll catch y'all in the next one coach